When one thinks about Belgium, pictures of medieval rooftops, charming canals, delectable beer, and much more decadent chocolates come to mind. But there is a lot to see in this fascinating European nation, where people are warm and hospitable to visitors and time appears to flow more slowly. The top places to visit in Belgium provide something for everyone to enjoy on a holiday, from contemporary towns with luxury boutiques and glitzy galleries to cobblestone lanes loaded with museums and local delights. With our video of Belgium's best tourist destinations and attractions, you can learn what to do while you're here. Number 1. Grand Place, Brussels Grand Place is surrounded by opulent guild halls and other stately structures that exhibit the best of Belgian vernacular architecture. The elaborate medieval town hall, a masterwork of Gothic architecture, dominates one side. Due to Grand Place's exceptional example of late 17th century architecture, it was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. At all times of the year, the area is crowded with visitors and locals, but it is most busy in August of every other year when the 75 by 24 meter flower carpet, consisting of more than 700,000 cut begonias, fills the middle. The balcony of the town hall offers the best full view of the lovely designs. 2. The Canals of Bruges Beginning on the Rye River's banks, Bruges expanded to include a network of waterways that connected it to the Zwin Estuary and the North Sea. One of the most well-liked ways to visit Bruges is by taking a sightseeing cruise along its canals, which serve as lovely reminders of the city's past. From March to November, and less frequently in the dead of winter, sightseeing boat cruises leave from five piers scattered along the main canal in the heart of the city and wind down its length. This is one of the best chances to capture images of some of Bruges' finest structures, as well as the city's renowned canal-side terraced house architecture. The tour boat operator offers umbrellas when it's raining and tours take place rain or shine. The public sightseeing boat trips don't require reservations. Just show up at the dock and pay for your ticket as you board. 3. The Belfry of Bruges This stunning belfry dominates the central plaza in Bruges and is one of the most well-known landmarks in Belgium. This 13th century tower from the medieval era is joined to a beautifully preserved structure that served as the major market hall for the town at one time. It gives visitors a true sense of the architectural prowess of the Middle Ages. One of the most well-liked tourist attractions in Belgium is the 366 twisting. Slender steps of the belfry that lead to the observation deck, which is 83 meters high, one of the most well-known panoramas in the country may be seen once you climb to the top, which offers views of church steeples and spires. 4. Old City of Ghent The Old City of Ghent is a charming maze of passageways bordered by charming steeple-roofed buildings that meander beside lovely canals. Ghent is one of Belgium's top architectural tourist destinations, but unlike Bruges, it is free of the throngs of tour buses. One of the greatest ways to view the city is on foot during the summer, when most of the notable structures are lit up. Another excellent way to see it is via canal boat along one of the many branches of the Shell and Lake Canals, which cross the city. Ghent is one of the top destinations in Belgium for history and architectural enthusiasts, and its low tourist density makes it a perfect spot to learn about the contemporary local Flemish culture. 5. Waterloo. Yes, history buffs, that Waterloo, the location where Napoleon lost the illustrious fight. The area where the battle once raged is now a pastoral scene of agricultural fields, but to mark the occasion when Napoleon's army was eventually defeated, a man-made hill rises up from the surrounding flatlands. A monument lion sculpture is perched atop the hill. The peak offers stunning vistas of the surrounding area. Waterloo continues to be a crucial stop on the tour for anybody interested in the history of Belgium and more broadly of Europe. 6. Mechelen Old Town Mechelen's Old Town area is an excellent spot to experience medieval Belgium 
because it has many still standing fine old buildings and gabled architecture, even though its monuments may not be as well known as those in Bruges, a tourist favorite. The majestic St. Rumbold's Cathedral, with its great clock tower, rises up directly behind the center grope marked, which is bordered by several particularly fine structures like the Town Hall and Lake Knoll. Outside of the main plaza, a trip through the center will also show lots of classic guildhouse architecture that history buffs are sure to want to see. 7. Leuven, which has the oldest Catholic university in the world and 100,000 citizens overall, is particularly lively during the academic year because to its almost 35,000 students. While the more historic part of the city has attractions like the Grand Buquinage and the Belfry on St. Peter's Church, two seemingly endless avenues are crammed with intriguing stores and galleries. The Grote Market in Leuven, where attractions like the City Hall are close to first-rate dining options, street-side taverns and cafes, offers visitors plenty of action and things to do. Because of its location, this city is a great substitute for Brussels as a tourist's primary base for exploring the rest of the nation. 8. Derby, which is hidden away in a tranquil valley surrounded by wooded hills, never fails to mesmerize visitors with its old-world charm and charming cobblestone alleys and cottages covered in a variety of flora, including rhododendron, ivy, and poppy blooms. One of the best locations in Belgium for photographers and artists, the town's streets and lanes all seem to be organized in the shape of a spider web. Once you enter the hamlet, the residents will be quite kind and may even offer you a warm cup of cold beer. The town is a great place to hide out if you want to escape urbanization, but don't be deceived by its relaxed and rustic atmosphere. Many fine dining restaurants and craft shops may be found here to keep you busy. 9. Ippers Little Ippers in the West Oak is a true must-see for any history fans traveling through Belgium because it is etched into many people's memories as the location of one of the bloodiest and most damaging battles of the First World War. French, Canadian, British, Anzac, and other Allied forces dug up trenches in the undulating fields surrounding this historic city beginning in 1914 as they fought for control of West Flanders and attempted to drive German lines back over the famed Passendale Ridge. Today, the Menengate Memorial and the In Flanders Fields Museum, hailed as the most comprehensive world war I exhibit in all of Europe, honor this horrific conflict. 10. Namur Namur belies its official status as a regional capital with a laid-back, medieval air, it is a mix of classic Maasen-style homes constructed from gray brick and rugged black slate, crisscrossing cobblestone roads, and attractive riverfront promenades. The huge medieval citadel that adorns the mountains above the Samper is without a doubt the piece de resistance. It is one of the biggest fortifications in all of Europe and is more than 1,000 years old. It has a ton of escape tunnels and bulwarks that were used up to World War II. When visitors have had their fill of the castle complex on the hill, Namur's cobbled place Du Vier Maxi, a charming European square bursting with outdoor cafes and Belgian beer bars, beckons, 